Morning, fellas. It is Wednesday at 9.51 a.m. The boys are dropped off at school. Kayla's at work yet again. I'm still unemployed. Gonna go fishing. So, I'm getting a few things together here. I don't have the proper, proper setup for catching carp. With that said, I've caught a couple anyways. I think they'd say to use a hair rig or something like that. Don't have one. But I was talking to someone that said they use corn. First, they chum the water with it. And they put some on their hook. After they chum the water, got the, the fish attention. And they, they use that. They said it's a little tricky, but it works for them. It has worked for them. So I'm going to give it a try. Here we go. So just trying to recap all the things I've managed to accomplish in my four months off of work. I've been working full time since I was 17. Never been laid off, nothing. And then and then this year, March 27th was my last day of work. The current pandemic hit and I have been off work ever since. So I haven't accomplished much, but I've been trying to accomplish, I've been trying to focus on doing a few things. Taking up fishing has been one of them. Never fished that much growing up. Just don't really know why. Just wasn't our thing as a family. Probably count on one hand the amount I've done it in 35 years. And I decided, you know what? I've got time. I've got two boys. Might be something fun for them to learn. So we started fishing. And here we are. Braden loves it. Ryerson, I think, is a little too young to enjoy it. But we'll get there with him. But Braden and I are having a good time with this. We've caught lots of fish. We've gotten muddy. We've got... We've got a lot. We've accomplished a lot. We've learned a lot, maybe I should say. So, hopefully we can keep that going. I don't see why not. The sad thing is I'm doing more fishing than he is because he's in school and I've got nothing to do at home. So... Seems like every couple of days I go out, just to our usual spot, just because it's nice there, it's quiet, it's peaceful. No, I'm not going to catch any monsters down there, but I don't know. I'm just having a good time with it. Okay, we made it to our fishing spot. It only took about 10 minutes. Pretty sure I saw someone peeing on the sidewalk about three blocks back there. Not against the tree, not by fence, just on, just on the sidewalk. That's okay. I mean, I wouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Anyways, let's get unpacked. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get anything. Let's see if we can catch something. All right, step one, we're at our spot. Well, I don't know if this is the first, the proper step one or not, but here's what I'm doing. Chum the water. So just because I've got this thing still hooked up, Let's throw him in a few times, see if we get anything.
All right, switching up my setup here, if you can see that, threw some corn on. Let's see, uh, let's see if that will work. All right, so no luck with uh, the corn. I tried throwing one of my other lures on. No luck either. There's usually schools of carp in here. However, it's just quiet today. So go back to Old Faithful, the gross uh, wormy boy right there. Let's see what I can dig up. So I don't know if it's all the rain we've had or what, but there is just a ton of sticks and leaves and garbage on the bottom. Losing my hooks, losing my bait. So I'm gonna do what the only other thing I can think of doing is before I call it in. And that is putting a bobber, floater, whatever you gonna call it, whatever you call it, trying that. So, I was just about ready to pack it in. I said to myself, one or two more casts. And I noticed about two feet, three feet from the bank where I chummed with the corn, big carp. Well, not big, maybe foot and a half at the most. Between a foot and a foot and a half, hard to tell. Anyways, it was picking up the corn bits right where right where I was standing so I started slowly reeling my lure in I got it right in front of him took it started swimming away I set the hook and I had it I set my hook and I had him and it took off like an absolute rocket which I kind of expected what I didn't expect and I'm not quite sure how this happened my my uh, fishing line went out so fast I don't know if I didn't have time to unreel properly or what it got all tangled up around my reel like I couldn't I had him I was so tangled I couldn't even reel it in and snapped the hook off and he was gone Ah, oh, that was frustrating. So I guess to sum up today's fishing experience, it was a colossal failure and a massive waste of time. I could have, I could have cut the grass. I could have stayed in bed. I could look for a job. See you next time.